real robots that will steal your job. Number 13. Astronauts The Robonaut is NASA's first humanoid robot astronaut, and he could be the future of space technology. He's even got his own Twitter page. How much more lifelike can you get? It almost makes more sense for robots to be astronauts instead of humans, considering how the job can get quite dangerous. His human counterparts need to be fully stocked with food, water, and a bathroom. No fancy spacesuits or oxygen masks for this 8-foot robot. Before we eventually get a man to Mars, this robot could be there first. His eyes are actually four visible light cameras inside the golden helmet. The robot seems to be getting more lifelike as the years go by. NASA finally gave him a pair of legs, too. Number 12. Security Guard Researchers at the Science and Technology Studies at the University College of London predicts that robots will take 11 million jobs by the year 2030, which means they could take your job. Something like patrolling a neighborhood wouldn't be too hard for a robot. Robots have actually already been used in a security drill in Germany at the airports, where they're used to inspect vehicles with precision. The German Federal Police is catching on to this idea, and it's possible more of these robots will be employed at places where high security is needed. Other robots can scan offices or streets for threats, like you see in this photo of a security guard in Britain. Some in Japan are being developed to catch perpetrators with nets. Number 11. Sales Reps Sales reps seem like robots anyways. They always ask the same questions, and if the robot can be convincing enough, they can make a sale. The robot here in this photo named Pepper shows customers different types of coffee machines in Tokyo and is already looking like a fine sales bot. This was introduced to the company by a tech conglomerate, SoftBank Corp, on December 1, 2014. Nestle has already begun using Androids to lure in customers, and it seems to be working. They can have chatty conversations with customers and explain details on different coffee machines. Number 10. Robot Manufacturers The advancements in artificial technology are threatening millions of jobs, and someday, they will soon be able to do nearly everything we're capable of. Robot manufacturers are seen all over automotive plants in Detroit. Manufacturing jobs in the U.S. reached its peak in the 1980s, but since then, it's been steadily declining, partly due to advancements in robots. Today, there are over 200,000 industrial robots in the United States, and that number continues to rise. It could become drastically more in 25 years. Will humans be able to control these machines in the future? Number 9. Drivers Robots will even be able to construct other robot-type cars that don't even need the human aspect for control. Computers will be the future taxi drivers and truck drivers in the future. They don't need coffee breaks or to go to sleep. Google has already developed a new self-driving car that was demonstrated at the Google campus in Mountain View, California. They've already tested dozens of prototypes, and the people at Google believe they'll be ready for the public in only a few years. Imagine driving down the street and seeing cars with no one driving them. Google wants to prove to everyone that their vehicles are safe, and they could reduce the number of traffic deaths in the future. Would you be willing to get in the car with a ghost driver? Number 8. Bartenders. Feel free to get a few drinks from a robot, then have a robot drive you home. Seems perfect, right? Meet Carl. He's a humanoid robot bartender in eastern Germany, and seems to be quite the hit with the customers. People travel long distances to see him do work. Guests can interact with him and build that special human-machine relationship that seems so heartwarming. He'll mix drinks according to customers' wishes, and also specializes in jokes and chit-chat. He also probably won't get mad if you don't leave him a tip. Each day, these robots tend to get more human. The designer, Mr. Schaefer, has stated that the goal of the company is to make scenes in science fiction films become more of a reality. Number 7. Restaurant Workers Not only will robots pour you a drink, They'll cook your food for you too, and bring it out to you on a plate. In Harbin, China, over 20 robots work at this restaurant. While each robot costs up to $30,000, this restaurant is sure to make that back in no time, considering they don't need to pay for employees. These robots can sense when someone enters the restaurant, and will even say hello to them. The robots move around on what appears to be large conveyor belts, and will stop if any obstacle enters their path. These guys only need a two-hour break every five hours to be electronically recharged. To top it off, the robot burger maker is a machine, literally. It can cook up to 350 hamburgers in an hour. Try beating that, humans. Number 6. Prostitutes? Not only could robots take the place of your average working girl, they could replace your boyfriend or girlfriend someday in the future. While it might sound a little far-fetched, more humans are open to this idea than you might think. A recent survey of British people said they would consider having sex with a robot. 33% said they would be willing to go on a date with a robot. Some are predicting that by the year 2050, 
human-robot sex will be more common than human-to-human -human action, according to a recent report by Dr. Ian Pearson. Also during this year, robots will most likely be advanced enough to match human intelligence and look just like other humans. Others believe that not only physical relationships will be developed, but also emotional. Computer programs may become sophisticated enough for humans to fall in love without even knowing it's a robot. What will this eventually lead to? How will we be able to determine who is and who isn't a robot? And could it possibly decrease the human population? Only time can tell. Number 5. Disaster Response Teams After robots have brought on an apocalypse, they'll have the right androids to clean up the mess. Japanese scientists had developed robots who were able to operate in harsh conditions of disasters like earthquakes and volcanic eruptions to clean up after a catastrophe has struck. These two slender robots were displayed at the International Robot Exhibition in Tokyo and are equipped with sensors on the head and showed off their capabilities to extinguish fires during a demonstration. These prototypes are still far from perfect and will need a few adjustments before they're sent out to the real disaster. Number 4. Models With robots becoming so lifelike, models may have some serious competition in the future. With designers able to come up with endless styles and looks, they can easily replace the work of a model. This particular robot named Gia Gia is not only creepy due to its lifelike appearance, but is also programmed to recognize human interactions. That could already be more than what human models are capable of. Gia Gia from China is showcasing traditional Chinese outfits and speaking Chinese to reporters and fans at a recent exhibition. Researchers have stated that they would not consider mass production of this type of robot just yet. Number 3. Wedding Planners In May 2010, a groom and a bride tied the knot with the help of a four-foot-tall, flashy-eyed robot named iFairy. Who gave robots the right to do this? If you guessed the Japanese, good job! iFairy announced the two man and wife, and it was the first wedding ceremony conducted by a robot. The makers of the robot, Kokoro, said the iFairy is solely for the purpose of helping humans, and they're happy that the machine can help cross the digital divide. Number 2. Fighters Recently, the United States challenged Japan in a giant robot battle the Japanese robotics company, Studio Bashi, eagerly accepted the duel. The Japanese even talked a little bit of trash, saying that they were going to reduce our robot to scrap metal. The Mark II is the US's robot equipped with some serious firepower. Right now, it's only firing paint cannonballs, but that could reach speeds of 100 miles per hour. The 9,000-pound, 13-foot Paratus will be no easy competitor, equipped with Gatling guns and a hyper-advanced targeting system. May the best robot win. And number one, soldiers. If the last one is true, robot soldiers could certainly be a thing of the future. More and more countries are trying to build robots and replace humans from the battlefield. Here in the United States, US generals expect humans to fight alongside with these lethal robots sometime near the year 2030. Other, more human-like robots like this are going to be undergoing testing in laboratories. Some predict that robots could replace a quarter of the US soldiers around this time. Now here's a Russian robot named Ivan the Terminator, and he could be Russia's answer to keeping up with the competition. They're hoping to use this design in emergency areas where there is a risk of fire, explosion, and radioactive fallout. He's able to be remote controlled and has sensors on his hands that allow him to drive a car. Eventually, it will be programmed to kill if needed. Which makes you wonder, what will Vladimir Putin do with these killer robots?